The following contains scenes that may not be suitable for all viewers. Viewer discretion is advised, and you have been warned. Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Animation Horrors. Today I have for you The Sandman. The Sandman is a 1992 short film based on the folklore of the legend of the Sandman. Now the Sandman tale goes that the Sandman visits you at night, puts sand in your eyes, and that puts you to sleep and gives you good dreams. Now this tale may vary, but in this short film the Sandman is nothing short of a dastardly villain. Now, like other short films, this one hardly has any music playing or anything at all. All you can really hear is the wind and the creaking floorboards. There are a lot of things in this short film that are a cross between imagination and reality, leaving you to decide, such as the stairs he has to climb to his room. It looks so long and it has to twist and bend all the way up to his room. Could the stairs actually look like this? Or is this just the way the kid has seen it? Being frightened by the wind and the darkness, only a candle as his guide. The Sandman himself looks like some frozen birdman, and although he could be quite silly looking, he has a serious, murderous look on his face. The build-up and suspense is on the level of that of a horror film, even more so one from the silent era where facial expressions and movements was a lot more terrifying. The animation is very well done, and it leaves you with a bitter taste once you're done watching it. What do I mean? Well, just take a look at what the Sandman does. The gruesome images and the hollow sounds of this all give it a bone-bending and eye-tearing effect that is found only in the nightmares of a child. I'm the Neonerdy Mouse Critic reminding you the next time you sleep, don't. 